Hey golf people, we're back out at Carrollwood Country Club with a new set of clubs, the Sticks. It's a packaged golf set with a driver, three wood, five wood, four hybrid, five through pitching wedge, a 52, a 56, and a 60 and probably one of the nicest putters I've ever seen in a package set. Now this set comes with everything from head covers to this really high quality carry bag. It's got really nice padded backpack straps, pockets to do just about anything you want, and of course, it stands up. This thing impressed me so much at the PGA show that I contacted Styx and begged them to send me a set so we could test it out here on course. Our over under today is four. That means plus four or better, we'll call that a win. And plus five or worse, no bueno. I'm just getting back into the swing of things this year. And so I think that's a fair number for a tough, kind of cloudy, windy day out here. But let's have some fun. All right, first hole here, guys. I'm excited. Are you excited? We've got a par four. Kind of a shorter one. It's all about the second shot over water here. First, we got to get off the tee with a good drive. Let's see what this thing can do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's rolling out there. We got fast and firm conditions. That was a good drive right down the right side of the fairway. It's always a good sign you can hit the driver straight. So the reason I loved these clubs when I saw them at the PGA show was just how easy they are to get up in the air. There's something just completely effortless about these clubs. To me, the weight is perfect, the balance is perfect. I really just enjoy hitting them. I've got 125 to a front pin. I'm gonna go pitching wet. Gotta go. Gotta go. Oh, I'm short. <laughs> All right, well, I came up about 10 yards short here. <laughs> I'm actually in the thicker rough here, just off the fringe. But uh, if you watch this show, you know that I come up short here a lot. First swings, first hole, just not quite loosened up enough yet. But one thing I am pretty good at is getting up and down. Let's see if we can do it. Now this set comes with three wedges, which is really nice. You've got a 52, a 56, and a 60. I'm gonna go ahead with the 56 here and see if we can get close. I thought that was a perfect shot, but it took a weird bounce off that fringe. I got a little bit more putt than I wanted. Looks like eight feet. Now, one thing I really, really liked when I opened this set up was this putter. What I like about this putter is it's not a mallet style and it's not a standard answer style. It's something right in between, which I think is great. If you can see the milling on this face, it's absolutely beautiful. And the weight is wonderful. It's got a big, nice, fat boy grip on there as well. Gonna give you some confidence and gonna shore up those little short putts. Let's see if we can make this one. It's a first test of the day. A longer putt than I thought I should have had, but hey, that's golf, right? All right, second hole here. It's a long par three. It's about 380, 390, depending on where that flag stick is. Uphill as well. We've got a bunker on the left and right to contend with. But if we can hit that driver like we did on the first hole, we'll be just fine. Well guys, I left that one out to the right a little bit, but man, this thing feels good. Love the trajectory. This is a 10 and a half degree, by the way, with a stiff shaft. I've got all stiff shafts on here. Now, Sticks only comes in graphite shafts, but this is a graphite stiff shaft. Now, I don't normally play a graphite shaft, but graphite shafts have come a long way over the years. And again, if you're starting out, or if you are mid to high handicap, where I think these clubs probably will best suit you, I think you're gonna appreciate a little lighter club there and uh, a little easier to swing. And it also adds to the look of these clubs, keeping with that all matte black look, which is really cool. So the feel of this driver in terms of other package sets I've played with is a much better sounding and feeling driver. It's still kind of a higher pitched sound to it. I always like a driver with a real nice thud like my Sim 2 was but it still looks way better built than most package set drivers that I've come across. So we actually ended up in a really great place. We're not blocked out, we have a clear shot. And while I'm not in the fairway, I've got an excellent lie. 142 out, again, it's an uphill pin. So I've got to hit it further than 142, but I've also got some wind behind me. So I'm gonna go eight iron here. These clubs have a little bit of an offset, just a little bit of an offset, but that's gonna instill some confidence for you guys who need it. So easy to get up in the air. Oh, wow, that might be long, guys. It's just so easy to get these clubs up in the air. And they sound really good at impact and feel really good at impact. Certainly, they're not a forged club, 
but they've almost got that soft buttery feel that you feel in a Forge Club. Definitely better than most package sets in terms of feel, no doubt about it. Well, I've got to say guys, I think I got a little unlucky there and that's just because the conditions out here are fast and firm for Florida. I hit the back of that green, I think I rolled off. So these clubs definitely have some pop and I also got a little unlucky there, but it'll give us another chance to get comfortable with these wedges. All right, guys, can't argue with a par-par start, that's for sure. And again, really like this putter a lot. I think it is very solid. Well, guys, anytime you can par that hole, it's definitely a win. I think it's probably the hardest hole on this side. Really happy with that one. Really happy with the distance I'm getting out of these sticks. We're going to three here, which is a medium length par three. It'll give us a chance to make a hole in one with these clubs. So I keep telling you how good these sticks feel. And if you're ready to go ahead and pick up a set for yourself, I highly recommend my friends over at playbetter.com. They've got sticks in stock right now. Best prices on the internet, really wonderful people to deal with. No hassle, money back guarantee for 60 days. They'll ship anywhere in the Continental 48 free. Playbetter.com, get your sticks there and help support this show. We got 158 to the green here, a little wind in our face, but these clubs seem like they have some pop to them. So I'm gonna go seven iron here, see if we can get close. Good strike. Gotta go, I think. Oh! That was really unlucky. I gotta say, I really liked that strike. Had a nice draw to it. These clubs, the best word I can use to describe them is effortless. That's what they feel like to me. I hit right at the top of that thing. I probably should have had another club in my hand though, come to think of it. So, you know, maybe it was user error. But I'm trying to hit all the clubs in our bag, give us a good impression of what these things can do. And so this gives us a chance to hit a sand shot and see what this thing can do. Okay. We've got eight feet again, moving right to left. Ah, well, we surrendered one there, guys, but that's the brakes. I thought I made a pretty good bunker shot. We gave ourselves a chance, and I like the putt I hit, just missed the line. So uh, we're heading to four here. We've got a decent chance, I would say. This is a birdie hole. We've got a little dog leg right. There's water on the right side, so we've got to keep it left. Our second shot is going to be slightly uphill. Water will be guarding the right side and a bunker on the left side. It's a good golf hole, but it's shorter, and I think it's gettable. Unfortunately, we are wet and you can see I'm not the only one that goes in here. This is our shot that we're left with. We've got a lot of water to contend with. We're gonna go nine iron here. The good thing about this angle is we've got plenty of green, nothing really other than water to contend with. And that is right at it. If that's the club, oh yeah. Okay, we've got a chance. Again, super simple and easy to get that ball up in the air. I really like these clubs. They've got just a slightly pressed loft to them, which again is more beginner friendly, but I don't think that it cuts down in any way in terms of the trajectory or that downward descent angle. Here are the lofts in case you wanna check out what this set can do. As you can see, they are definitely pressed a bit. Seven iron at 28 degrees. And that's what one of these packaged sets should be, in my opinion. It gives golfers of all different abilities a chance to score a little bit better on these courses that keep getting longer. And they see their heroes on the PGA Tour every week hitting these really long distances. They want to do it too. And you don't want to feel like you're less than because you can't. So I'm all for these pressed lofts. Look guys, this was a great shot. We've actually got a good chance now at maybe even making par. That would be something. Oh, I gave it a run. All right guys, now we've got a couple strokes we've got to make up. We are plus two, plus four again was our cutoff. We can do better. We've got a par five here, let's make birdie. All right, we've got a par five here that's reachable with two really good shots, but the wind's in our face, so I don't think it's gonna be today. We'll likely be laying up. So I'm just gonna hit a nice smooth driver, get it out there in good position for us to hit that second shot. I 
again felt really good but I left it off to the right a little bit I think it's the swinger not the club because the club feels great love the trajectory love that little tight draw all right we're probably 270 from the green into the wind so there's no sense really for me to pull on a three wood when I've got a less than perfect lie now one thing this set does have, which I don't normally carry, but I'm really glad it's in this set, is a four hybrid. This should give us a much better chance to get some distance and to get this ball up and out of the rough. Oh yeah, wow. So easy to hit. That felt and sounded like a premium club. Now, a lot of time these package sets, the real weakness is in the hybrids. Not the case here with the sticks. That felt amazing. That four hybrid is 21 degrees. Trajectory was absolutely perfect. It got up in the air out of that rough, not a perfect lie either, very, very easily. That's a club that a lot of you should probably be thinking about putting in your bag. A four iron, especially for the mid to high handicappers out there, is a tough club to hit. Even a tough club for me to hit and be consistent with. That on the other hand, very easy to hit. All right guys, we've got 85 yards and I think that's a perfect distance for me to give this 52 a go and see if we can get a nice spinny little wedge shot into the green, get us a birdie putt. Oh, it looks pretty good, it's the right club. Oh, whoo, whoa. Loved the turf interaction with this club. And again, if you look closely, it's got some nice milling on these wedges. A premium feeling wedge for sure. And that thing spun, took one hop and really spun back. I don't know if you saw that. Really good opportunity at birdie here. We've got six feet. Let's not squander this one. I can only apologize. I just completely pushed that putt. As much as I like the feel of this putter too, I'm telling you this thing is good. Just, I uh, haven't found my stroke here early in the year just yet, but we've got a few more holes to play here. We can still do this. I should never get upset about tapping pars, but that's one where I really feel like a par felt like a bogey. Hey, what are you gonna do except move on? We play one hole at a time. That's the mindset you need to have with golf. We're gonna get it back right here, I know we are. This is a tough hole though to do it. It's a good hole for us to try out the three wood in this set because it's really tight and narrow before we've got a dog leg right and then a lot of bunkers and water to contend with on our approach shot. By the way, nice big three wood, decent sized face. Kind of reminds me of my Ping G425, really liking that. Now let's hope it flies as well in the air as it looks. It does. <laughs> That's perfect. That's absolutely perfect. All right, guys. Well, it feels like we've been against the wind all day today, and now I'm left with a longer shot than I'd really like. Unfortunately, I've got 179, but that gives us an opportunity to try out the five iron, which is the longest iron in this set. Again, it has some nice offset to it. I really like that red striping under these irons as well. It's just a great looking club, but it's also been a great feeling club. Very tight and narrow up here. I've got two bunkers on each side of this green. I've got water that hopefully doesn't come into play. It would take a really bad shot for that. And then this green dramatically falls off on the left and back side. So not a lot of places to miss here, but uh, hopefully we can put a nice swing on the ball. Uh-oh. Oh. First really poor swing of the day. 106 here. Oh, we got a bear down. Got to hit a good shot here. Don't want to have put a double bogey on the scorecard. Another oh, really good shot. If that's the right club, it's good. Oh, it's just a little long. Just a little long there. Ah! Uh, it's not looking good here. We're probably going to be on the bubble in terms of our over-under with three holes to play. But I gotta say, it's pretty tough conditions, too. Oh, no. Ay, ay, ay. Equitable stroke control. I'm just gonna pick that one up. And that's the first double, unfortunately, of the day. I got people breathing down my throat here. I got a group right in front of me that's slow, a group right behind me that's a little too fast. And uh, 
I'm caught in the middle. We've got three holes to make something of this round. Par three coming up, then we've got a par five and a short par four, which is definitely a birdie hole. So we can do this. If we can start off with a birdie here, or maybe an ace, we'll be in good shape. All right, we've got 151. Hmm, I'm right in between clubs here, I feel like. I think I'm gonna go eight. Oh, that looks pretty good if it's the club. Oh, just caught the fringe. I'm gonna go ahead and say at this point, these are the best feeling irons of any package set that I've ever played. I'll keep banging that drum, but they are so easy to get in the air. And uh, just the balance, feel, aesthetics. There's no glare off these things, which is nice. Really loving that. There are some gripes I might have about these clubs, and I'll tell you about them at the end, but they are so few, very, very few. The old Texas wedge here. One time, hit it. <laughs> I got so aggressive with that first putt. I had a way longer putt coming back than I wanted, but we did it. All right, so here's where we stand. We are standing on the eighth hole. We are four over, thanks to that awful double bogey on six. But we gotta put that one out of our mind. This is a tough hole, but it is a birdieable hole. Long par five. It's a big sweeping dog leg left. That second shot's gonna be really tight because it's a narrow green with a massive bunker in front. Well guys, not the perfect drive there, but I think we're gonna be okay. And it'll give us a chance to pull out the one club I think we haven't hit yet today. Gotta go five wood here, keep it under the trees. And we did. Advancing, it's all we could do there. Okay guys, we got one hole to do it. That's two par fives. We should have had birdies on, but mm, just not getting those putts in. Okay guys, again, not the best drive in the world there but uh, I've got a clear shot at the hole. My only problem is I gotta go up over a hill here, which makes this a little tougher shot, but uh, we'll put some height on this ball. These clubs are easy to do that with. We've got 123 wind in our face as always. I don't know how you can play nine holes and every hole is in your face, but that's what's happened today. <laughs> the wind must have shifted mid round and uh, we're gonna try to get this one tight regardless. Ooh, good strike. Man, these things fly so straight. Be the club. We gotta putt at it, guys. We gotta putt at this. We've got like, let's say 18 feet for birdie and a chance at glory. Worst case, I think we're gonna go right on our number of plus four, but I think we can make this putt. What do you think? Leave a comment down below. If you haven't already and you enjoy these course vlogs, make sure to hit subscribe. It really does help the channel. Ooh. Oh, I wanted to walk that one in. I've been real aggressive today, bringing them Put them past. Guys, I cannot complain. These clubs performed so very well. All those extra numbers on the scorecard were yours truly. These things are definitely the best package set that I have come across, and I've played quite a few now. Now, there are a couple issues that I do have with this set, but it is so very minor. Number one, the head covers are really tight and they come off really easy. In fact, I think I may have even lost my putter cover here on the ninth hole. I was looking around the green, couldn't find it. I don't know where it came off. Number two, with a matte black finish like that, it's bound to pick up some wear and tear over the course of time, but honestly, what clubs aren't? Black clubs do show it a little bit more though, so you should be aware of that. In general, I think these things were absolutely fantastic. For a mid to high handicapper, these clubs are pretty darn money, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. I'll catch you back here very soon on another edition of Let's Play Through.